This tutorial shows how to set up your Shopify store using AppBlocks. After the app has installed, you'll see the Select Subscription screen. I'll go ahead and select the Advanced Subscription. I'll click Approve and wait for the page to load. It can take a while for the page to load, so please be patient. Now you'll see setup and onboarding instructions. In this case, it says I'm using a theme compatible with AppBlocks. First, I have to make sure my store allows customer accounts to be created. This is necessary so users can place bids on auctions. What I'll do is I'll click on settings Once the settings page loads, I'll click Checkout. And under Customer Accounts, make sure Accounts are Optional has been selected. In this case, I've already selected this option, so I don't have to make any changes. But if you haven't selected this option, make sure Accounts are Optional is selected. Back on the setup screen, what I'll do now is I'll click setup. And after setting up, I'm redirected to the setup documentation. And I'll just quickly read what's available in Auction Pro. There are two types of app app blocks that can be added to your Shopify store. The auction and auction collection app block. I'll go ahead and add the auction app block first since it is necessary to have the auction app block in place to preview the auction collection app block. Now before adding any app blocks, I'll quickly create a new auction so we can have something to see when we edit the app blocks in the Shopify theme editor. I'll just click this add auction link here and have that auction page show up on the screen. For this auction, I'll just add a sample pair of blue jeans. So in title, I'll enter in vintage jeans. Description, I'll enter rare pair of high quality jeans. And below, I'll just quickly fill out these sections. I'll add a photo of a pair of jeans. Starting price, so 11, 1, 199. The start date must be set to the current date and cannot be set to a date in the future. If a date in the future is selected, the auction will not actually preview or appear in the Shopify theme editor. So it's important to select the current date. Now the end date can be any date in the future. So I'll just select a date one week ahead of the current date. After that's done, I'll click Save. Sometimes it can take a while to save as the changes need to be propagated throughout Shopify system, systems and in this case, it has finally saved. And once it has saved, I'll click on the online store link right here to edit the Shopify theme.
Now that the page is loaded, I'll click Customize and have to wait for the page to load again. From here, I'll select the Products option and click Create Template. In the Name section, I'm going to enter in a very specific name that must be entered into your Shopify store when you configure your store. So this is this name is auction dash pro dash template. So this name must be used because the auction pro app specifically looks for this name when creating auctions. If you use a different name besides this one, the app will not work properly. So please only enter in this name as shown on the screen. After that, click Create Template. And once the template has been created, you'll see it's a copy of an existing product template. What I'll do is I'll remove the unnecessary app blocks from this page so I can have the information relevant to my auction. So I'll just click on price and click remove. Variant picker, remove block. Quantity selector, remove block. Buy buttons, remove block. Now this is just a preview of a product I previously created. What we want to do now is we want to change our preview to the auction that we created. So I'm just going to click Vintage Jeans here and we should see the auction that we created. Now what I want to do is I want to click Add Block and under Apps click Auction. And now we see the auction widget and information on the right side of the page. The one thing I don't like about the placement of this is it's underneath the description. So what I'll do is I'll reposition the auction block between title and description. And the page is reloaded and everything looks good to me. So what I'll do now is I'll click the Save button to save my changes. Everything has been saved. Now I'll create the auction collection template. I'll do this by selecting the collections option and click create template. The name can be any name you want. Unlike the auction template that was previously created, you can select any name that you feel like selecting. In this example, I'll just keep it easy and type auction and click create template. And again, we can see it's an exact duplicate of the default collection page. Before making any changes, I'll actually change the preview to the auctions collection. And now that we have this collection loaded, we see our auction, our auction item, but we don't actually see any relevant information pertaining to the auction. What I'll do is I'll have to remove this product grid and add the auction collection app block. So I'll click on Product Grid and I notice you can't actually remove this block. So what I'll do instead is I'll click on the eye icon to hide it. Now I'll click Add Section and click Auction Collection. 
and we see that the page is reloaded. And now we see the relevant information pertaining to our auction. Everything looks good. So I'll click save. Everything has been saved. Now what I'll do is I'll exit the theme editor. And there's one last thing that we have to do. And we have to navigate to the products section to view our auctions collection. And within the auctions collection, make sure the default, the theme template is not the default collection, but the auction collection. This is important because if the default collection is shown, your auctions page online will not show the necessary and relevant auction information for your auctions. So in this case, I didn't have to make changes, but if it's the default option that has been selected, make sure your new template has been selected and saved. So what I'll do now is I'll click view to take a look at what the auctions page looks like online. Everything looks good. I'll click the auction just to take a quick look how it looks like on the store. And everything looks good. So that summarizes how to add and configure app blocks to your online store.